Hello, my name is Hugh Dunlop. I'm a patent attorney from the firm Marker Jenkins. We are a firm of European and UK patent and trademark attorneys. And I'm going to be talking today about Patent Box. You might think of Patent Box as being an extension of R&D tax credits into the period of commercialization of innovative technology. At the headline, the Patent Box gives you reduced corporation tax and the headline rate is 10%, which is a reduction from the normal corporation tax rate of 19%. As we will see from this slide presentation, it doesn't quite work out that generous. Nevertheless, it's a generous tax credit, and the lower rate applies to income generated from patents. Why patents? Because patents link directly to scientific and high-tech research and development and innovation. They're, if you like, a badge of proof that you are an innovative company. Patents are readily identifiable, legally protected, and only granted after independent verification from an autonomous body, the Patent Office. So we're not talking about copyright, designs, and trademark products. These do not benefit from Patent Box. It is a complicated calculation of tax relief. There are three stages. You have to identify qualifying patents or patent rights, and these we will call the relevant IP income, and calculate the basic profit attributable to the qualifying income. In the second stage, you identify the qualifying residual profit, which you calculate by deducting a routine profit that the Treasury reckons that you would routinely have made even if you didn't have patented technology. The Treasury assumes a routine return of 10% on expenses. And thirdly, you re remove a marketing assets return. That is to say, that element of profit that can be attributed to brands and good marketing and the sorts of things that companies just do well, even if they're not innovative companies. And then you prorate the patent and non-patent profit to give the patent box benefit. We do have an example calculation on our website. You have to go to the resources and fact cards section of the website and the link is on the slide and there you can see a sample calculation for a company that is making 400,000 of taxable profit on 900,000 of revenue. There are different ways of calculating the patent box benefit. The simple one being the small claims route. In the calculation that is shown there, there is a net saving of nearly £15,000 of tax on the patent box option. So you must have a qualifying patent. What is a qualifying patent? It is one that has been granted by the UK Patent Office. These days it's called the UK IPO or the European Patent Office or certain other patent offices, but not the United States Patent Office and not France, for example, which merely registers patents. It even applies to plant variety and breeder rights. And of course, it applies to supplementary protection certificates, which are the extensions of patents in certain circumstances. You may qualify through legal ownership directly of the patent or through an exclusive license from the patent owner. And it can include patents acquired from others, for example, acquired from research and development that you have commissioned, or collaborative research and development. The basic timeline for getting a patent is you file a patent application at, for example, the UK IPO. 18 months later, it is published. Within that first 12 months of its life, you may file other applications around the world, for example, international application or European patent application. But the first of these that goes to grant in a qualifying office will be the one that signifies the start of your patent box, and that's most likely going to be your UK patent application. So our first tip, of course, is to check whether you have patents for the technology that you are currently selling and whether, therefore, you have the qualifying patents to benefit from the patent box. Not just for the products themselves, of course, but for the manner of their production, the, the process of making them. And if there is no patent for an existing product, then you should consider whether any patented ideas could be legitimately included to enhance production processes or product technology. 
In other words, what I'm saying is this may tip you towards deciding to file a patent application versus not file one. As always, if you're developing a new product, I do urge you to consider what IP rights you may have. Patent rights might be one of them, but there may be other IP rights available to you. It's not a case of do I have a patent in this country or that country, and therefore does my revenue from this country or that country count in the patent box? All your revenue as a UK company can count and any patent in a qualifying patent office can count. Of course, the Treasury is very much on the lookout for anti-avoidance. As I mentioned, we are a firm of UK and European patent attorneys with offices in China. Germany has its own patent box and we would be happy to advise you on that. And my final tip, if you're looking for patenting technology to benefit from the patent box, do come to us and talk about what new ideas might span a range of your products. For example, new processes for manufacturing a range of products. And thank you for listening.